Hey guys and welcome to another episode of how to be a 3D animator. In this episode we're going to cover what kind of computer you need as an animator. Would you recommend a laptop? Would you recommend a desktop? And what kind of specs do you need? And these are the questions we're going to cover in this week's video. I'll try and have the links for the stuff we talk about in this video down below in the description so you guys can go check that out. And so if you haven't already, make sure to absolutely smash that like button and let's jump into this week's video. All right, so this is one I got a lot of requests for. Now, I don't claim to be any sort of expert on computers, but I'll just be sharing my two cents from an animator's perspective and what I know about the software's needs. If you guys have any helpful comments or can clarify some things that I can't, please don't hesitate to uh, help others out and leave a comment down below. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the importance level of your CPU or processor. The CPU or the processor takes the cake for the importance when it comes to animating. You want a powerful CPU and that doesn't mean higher number of cores. It just means a more powerful one uh, because your program will most likely be using just one. And so it doesn't matter if you have 40, <laughs> I don't think that's an actual number of cores you can have, but it doesn't matter how high the numbers is, it depends how powerful it is. Second and third most important are RAM and GPU, which is graphics card. The higher the RAM, the more temporary memory your computer can handle at a time, meaning you can handle heavier scenes in your viewport. And I'd say try and aim for about 16 or 35 gigabytes of RAM, depending on how much 3D animating you do. If you're gonna go out and get yourself a computer, this is what I keep in mind. Now, before I start, I went to uh, cgdirector.com and I, I'll have the link down in the description for you guys, and I found some compatible list of stuff to build your own animation computer with. Um, I'll put the link of that list or of the stuff I found in the description so you guys it, it should just be an Amazon link so you guys can just look those up so if you want to see the list the link is in the description down below okay so if you're going for 3d animation instead of 2d you're gonna need a lot more power if you're working in Maya and are moving things around in your viewport the speed of that is mostly dependent on your processor so I suggest a higher-end i5 or i7 or higher if you have the budget for it. I personally own a i5 6600K processor, so it's not it's it's like a higher end i5, but it could definitely be a lot better. It's just not something that I necessarily need right now. Uh, for RAM, try and aim for 32 gigabytes. If not, then 16 gigabytes at the very very least, because you do require a lot of RAM to run these intense programs. But again, high RAM is definitely better if you have the budget for it. Now, in regards to graphics card, I personally use a 1070 Ti, uh, but if you have the budget for it, there's a lot of budgeting involved in this, I'd suggest some of the higher end 2000 series RTX cards. Again, I'll have the recommended selection that I made with links down below in the description for you guys. Now, let's get into the pros and cons of getting either a desktop or a laptop for animation. So the pro of getting a PC is that you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. It means you can get a lot more power for a lot less money spent. And that pretty much becomes the con for a laptop is the, if the, the con of a laptop is that it's more expensive and it comes with a limited amount of power for the money you're spending. So if you want to get the same power as you would have on a PC, you'd have to spend a lot more money on a laptop. Now the pro of a laptop is that it's extremely portable. So in this case, if you travel a lot or if you're a freelancer and aren't restricted to any one location, a laptop may actually be a better option for you than a PC. And again, this becomes a con of the PC. So PC isn't very mobile like at, at all. You sort of have to just like set up a workstation and like leave it there with little to no room for working and traveling. Uh, another pro of the desktop is that the processor are the processors are usually a bit larger, which means they can be a lot more powerful. And so laptop processors, on the other hand, are a lot more limited compared to that or compared to the desktop. Pro of a laptop is that laptops are pre-built to be well easy to use. They require little to no time to get running. You kind of just like take it out of the box, click the power button, plug it in, and you're good and you're set. For a PC, it, it needs a lot more space and it takes a lot more time to set up. 
pro for a desktop is that in regards to keyboards, the desktop, there's really no limitations. You have access to a full keyboard. And for a laptop, if you have a smaller 14 to 15 inch screen, then the keyboard's probably gonna not even include like a number pad and it's gonna be smaller keys. Lastly, for desktop, when it comes to upgrading, most components in a desktop are easily removable and it's super, super easy just to make upgrades. So instead of having to buy a whole new computer, you can buy a new processor if your processor is outdated or a graphics card or whatever it is without having the need to replace all the other stuff as well. So you screw up and you don't buy compatible stuff because I've done that. And so this again becomes the con for the laptop, which is for laptops, the memory and hard drive are about the only components you can upgrade, if that. Uh, so if a keyboard on a laptop dies, you pretty much got to spend the laptop's worth to replace it and same as the other parts that are unreplaceable. So in this case, desktop wins. And so for me personally, I'm working, I'm working full time at a studio and when I come home, I sort of just want to have my very own battle station. I'm not going to be moving around or animating on the go. So a desktop's the cheapest and the best option for me. It may be different for your situation. But for me, a uh, desktop wins the desktop laptop war. Now, in regards to what type of operating software, I personally prefer Windows for 3D graphically intense work. Mac, if you're using Adobe software, because from what I understand, I could be wrong. From what I understand, Adobe is made so it runs smoother on Mac than Windows. So it's kind of made to be run on Mac and adapted to run on Windows. As a 3D animator, you're Using either Blender, Maya, or Autodesk Mask, <laughs> Autodesk Mask, oh my, Autodesk Max, <sighs> and for that I would choose the Windows operating system instead of Mac. Just a real quick reminder that if you enjoyed this content and would like to support the channel farther, we do have a Patreon now, which gives you access to some more goodies like the stuff I upload on Gumroad, as well as the animator's handbook PDF, which gets updated continuously, or at least I try to. Patreon just helps me keep the video quality higher, but I'll continue uploading free weekly videos. So if you're not able to support the channel that way, I'd appreciate you smashing that like button just as much. With that out of the way, let's hop back into the video. Just to recap. You want to look for a computer with at least a high-end i5 processor, preferably a 2000 series RTX graphics card, high-end 1000 series, I personally have the 1070 Ti. For RAM, I'd say minimum 16GB, but I recommend to aim for 32GB or higher. To keep this video fairly simple, and I want to give you guys general information about what sort of things you got to keep an eye out for, things a little easier for you guys, I'll add a few links to certain laptops use if I were animating on the go as well, as well as uh, the computer components that I'd recommend as well. The links again will all be in the description for you guys. Before we finish this video off, I just want to give a big thank you to my, to the continuous support of my Patreons. Thank so much. And with that out of the way, happy animating and I will see you guys in the next video.